Okay, this is a video I have been wanting to do for a long time. Mainly because I see so many people on YouTube especially who um, will do a video that says the right way to do stairs, the right way to build stairs. And it's really frustrating because um, people who haven't built stairs before uh, will watch these videos and I'm sure will make the same mistakes that these people are making in their videos. So, I hope that I can put some of this uh, stuff to rest. So anyway, I've got some geometry here and this is my little make-believe uh, make landing and basically another landing area here and here. So, uh, what I want to do is build a set of steps to go from this level to this level. Now, the first thing I'm going to um, say is that um, any, anyone trying to lay out a set of stairs should always do a drawing um, first. And you will see as we get into this that that is the case. And you will most definitely agree with me. Any mistakes you run into in your drawing are mistakes you would run into in real life, except that they will not cost you any money in your drawing. Um, in real life, you will go, you know, you'll be going back to Home Depot or whatever, buying new two by 12s, <laughs> which are expensive. So you really need to go through this exercise of doing a drawing, scale drawing, and this is, this is SketchUp. Now this is not a video about SketchUp, but this is the tool I'm using. Um, and I may do some video in the future uh, I'd like to show actual laying out stairs, but I think this might be the easiest way to do it for now. Obviously, one of the first things you want to ask yourself is, what, um, what are my dimensions? Um, let's start out with some new dimensions. Okay. That says five feet, okay? Um, I'll zoom in on that so you can see. This is five feet. And this is the first time I've done this type of video where I'm trying to use SketchUp, so we'll see how it works. Um, so what you want to do is to get your rise, especially your rise, the run is not so much uh, important. It's not that important unless you have a point where you just have to stop. And I'll show you that in a minute. But um, the other thing you need to take into consideration are floor coverings. If someone said to you, I just need to build stairs to go on this, you know, from this level to that level, uh, fine. Uh, the first question you should ask them is do you plan on putting floor coverings on um, these different areas, these different levels? And just for the sake of this video, I have placed uh, the same thickness flooring on each level. But th that may not be the case. You may end up with you know floor covering up here and, and not down on the lower level, or vice versa. So you know that uh, and all this stuff should be worked out you know in your section. Uh, your stair section, your stair drawings. Let's pretend uh, that we know our rise and our run. In this particular case, um, I've got five feet. Uh, I haven't actually done this math on the calculator, but it does work out. So let's pretend this is the 212 on our saw horses, and I've drawn out a neat little frame square, and it just happens to be in the right place. So that's cool. So what you'll do is you'll lay you just frame. You'll lay your two by your framing square on your two by twelve um, with you know, my trusty pencil. But this this dimension uh, will be your in my in my case it's the rise, which in my case it's uh, seven and a half. And basically uh, from your drawing and from your dimensions, you'll take your rise and divide it uh, by the number of risers you want. So I have five feet. And in my case, I came up with seven and a half inches. And basically I did that, um, I, I just made it work out uh, in this drawing, just for the purpose of the demonstration. Uh, most codes, building codes will, will require that um, you not have more than a seven and three quarter inch rise. Um, so you want, you want to take that into account. What we're going to be doing is basically uh, going down seven and a half inches. I'm going to be going horizontal for 10. Then down seven and a half. Then over 10. Down seven and a half. Then over 10. And you get the idea. 
So basically what you end up with is, uh, I've got this basically prepared. Where, let's turn this on. And let's turn on my stringers, or one of my stringers. And I'll show you where I have basically got this out already. So you can see there's your, there's your original two to 12, this white piece. And you can see it's longer on the team because I'm allowing for splitting and that kind of thing. So now I have this and I'm basically gonna turn this off. Let's see, I'll put that there. And that's basically what I'll have when I'm done. A stringer like that. So if I go back and turn on my original geometry, you can see now I have a stringer. Here. And you see, I'll demonstrate here um, the other thing that's important when you're laying out your stairs right now. If I turn on my lower flooring, you can see that my stringer is sitting on that floor. I'm, I'm basically building this set of stairs as if this floor covering was already here. If the floor covering was not there, um, you would need to add back see now you would need to add back um this, this, that. this is the amount of you know of the two to twelve you would have need to have left on the bottom of that stringer as you were laying it out uh, let's see if i get that back in but since my um floor covering was there you see i could cut that amount off of the stringer and it turns out, let's see, my dimensions. And here's what the dimensions turned on. So I get those in the frame. You see, 10, 7 and a half, 10, 7 and a half, 10, 7 and a half, 10. But the bottom, your bottom riser is cut so that um, your bottom step will be 7 and a half inches after you put your tread on there. You see? And you cut that off the, you make this six inches, um, anything that you're going to cut off dimension-wise, you would cut it off the bottom of the stringer, not the tread, because if you cut this, any, any dimension off here, you will make this step taller. So, again, all this stuff will be clear to you if you just lay out your stairs in advance. Um, and you can see up here, this seems like a tall step, but because I have drawn this out, you'll see that once I add back my tread and my upper floor covering, that in the end, um, I will have um, seven and a half inches. And these little dimensions are a little funny to play with. But, so that's just to demonstrate there the difference between having your floor coverings on before or after. You just need to allow for it. So we have our stringer there. And the next thing you want to do is basically cut uh, three of them. So, um, uh, and these really shouldn't be uh, more than about 16 inches apart if you really want to start your set, set of steps. I've seen people put them, you know, 24 inches apart and a lot of that depends on um, what tread material that you're going to use. So uh, you would install your stringers next and uh, you would secure them with uh, some sort of a bracket system. You know if this was concrete or wood, even if it was wood you want to use some L brackets down there and even down here uh, where you can't see them on the inside. The next step would be to put your riser material on. And those are basically going to just be cut again this one you know down here is uh different your bottom riser is going to be different um i don't know if you can see my little tape measure tool uh, but that's at six inches and then if i start here go up here that's so again to demonstrate that if i turn my treads back on you'll see that since that bottom riser is six and I add seven and a half, uh, an inch and a half tread, then each time I add an inch and a half tread, it's going to be seven and a half inches again. So, just turn those off. 
I'll back out. Give you a good look at that stair uh, with the riser material on there. So, and we always use screws, a trim screw to fasten these risers um, to the stringers. Okay, and now, and this is a simple set of stairs, open set of stairs. So for the treads, for an open set of stairs, we might use just two two by sixes nailed down on each one. And that will give you a, uh, an overhang of approximately an inch. So, but like I said guys, the main thing is to, you know, lay your stairs out, uh, uh, know what your uh, finished floor coverings are going to be. You can see now uh, if this owner or even you decided, you know, right now I've got seven and a half inches um, for my rise. That says seven and nine sixteenths, but I know it's seven and a half because I'm measuring at an angle there. But if all of a sudden, you know, I decide not to put my floor covering on, you know, uh, now I'm looking at, you know, a, a different riser up here see now I'm looking at six and three quarters so you know you want to you want to plan all this stuff out you know um, before you start and just a simple drawing tool like this you know you can use to uh, to, to do that with and it makes it easy and all the mistakes you make like I said earlier you want to make your mistakes uh, with your material links and the quantities of your, your materials in your drawings um, you know, you don't want to make those mistakes in real life. So, uh, maybe at the end of this video, I'll, I'll show you some of the stair sections that we've done. Um, I use AutoCAD. But uh, a neat thing you can do in SketchUp is um, these sections where uh, this is a neat feature. It allows you, in SketchUp, it allows you to um, create sections um, of your geometry. So if I wanted to show a stair section, uh, you know, then I can zoom in and, um, you know, place my uh, camera view here, however I want to, and uh, then print that, you know. I think that's pretty neat. And you can create animations. And of course that's all, you know, SketchUp stuff. I was mainly, this video is mainly, I'm mainly trying to use SketchUp as a tool to show how important it is to lay out stairs in a drawing format even if you've just got a scrap piece of paper uh, and you do it to scale get some graph paper and a ruler and uh, just lay it all out and um, draw it to a scale big enough to where uh, you know half inch equals a foot or something like that big enough to where you can actually see um, all the materials you're going to be using and plan it out ahead of time so anyway I hope this has been helpful uh, to you it's um, SketchUp is a neat little tool. Of course, you can use uh, any drawing program to do this with, like I said. So, um, okay guys, hope that helps somebody. Um, um, I'm hoping to, uh, in the future, actually, uh, the next time I lay a set of stairs on a project, I'm gonna try to do a video uh, showing uh, the same process. Uh, I use AutoCAD for my professional drawings, and I would do a stair section and uh, and use that for the guys in the field uh, because you know you've got some homeowners who you know you may use carpet or tile or wood floor down here you may not have anything up here you may have stained concrete on this level all that information you know would need to be known uh, before you lay out your stairs um, so anyway hope this has helped uh, somebody and uh, please leave comments if it has if you have any ideas for improvements for this video uh, maybe I can do that. Thanks, guys.